pattern that we're going to tie is the Hammer Creek Disco Duck. And this is one of my all-time favorite flies, highest producing flies. I fish this either behind a dry fly in the film or behind a heavily weighted fly uh, down deep. And it seems to do, do well in both places. So like I said, if I had to pick two flies uh, that I had to fish with, this would definitely be one of them. So starting off with a size 14 uh, wet fly hook. And I tie these pretty small, uh, 18s and 20s, but this, so it shows up here in camera better. I'm going to tie it in a size 14 today. I'm going to begin by tying in some ADOT tan thread. Just getting that started. And then, the as the name implies, we're going to use a lot of mallard flank with this. So I used a dyed mallard flank, and I tie this in a lot of different colors. <clears throat> and... Because this is such a, a long fly, normally, again, a tight in 18s and, and 20s, I'm going to find a nice long section of this mallard flank to tie in. And I'm going to take maybe uh, five, five fibers or so to tie that off, maybe a little bit better. And I'm just finding a nice section here that's going to cover all the way down. So I'm going to wrap this up the hook. So I'll take my section of mallard flank and I want to tie about a hook length in. First I'm going to advance this all the way down. I want to save as much as the mallard as I can to wrap up. So I'll put it about there. I'll do just two wraps just to get it secure. And then this also has a rib and the rib for this fly is a very fine copper wire. So I'm going to take a section of that and tie that in as well. And again, right on top of those other wraps, just two. And I'm going to pull that up and I'll secure the rest of it underneath. Bring that back. And this does have a flashback to it. And I use a pearl tinsel. So I'll add that pearl tinsel. Again, same spot, right on top. I'll lift that up and secure the rest underneath. Now, as you get smaller in tying this fly, you won't be able to get away with doubling it over because it'll add too much bulk. But in this case, I can just come back and secure everything back with one doubled over movement there. I'm going to bring it back up to just shy of the eye, and I'm going to start wrapping this. I'm going to do it in counter. Uh, I'll make it in, in counterclockwise wraps just to get that good cross section when I put the wire back through. So just make nice, even wraps. I'm holding it here with my finger so that hopefully it doesn't slip off. I'll bring that all the way to the front. I'll take one turn just to secure it down. Fold it back over itself. Make sure it's good and secure in there. Then I can trim up that excess. Then I can fold over my pearl flash, my pearl tinsel. Just two turns there will work, and I'll start to wrap this copper wire up. So just making nice, even wraps, maybe uh, four or five wraps up to the tie end point, and then I'll tie that off there. And I can just Break that off and trim this top section. The final material that I'm going to tie in is a dry fly hackle. And for this I'm going to use done. And I'm just going to take a feather that is about the right size. So I just have my dry fly hackle there. Remove some of that excess. Expose the stem, and I can tie that in just to the front there as well. And then I can trim off that stem. Bring the thread back up to just behind the eye, and then I'll just start wrapping this just like it was a just like it was a dry fly. And I want to do maybe three three wraps or more of this. These are going to become my legs. 
So maybe four wraps there. Secure it nice and tight, pull everything back, and I'll start to build out my head. Once I'm satisfied with that, come back through and do a whip finish to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. I can trim off that thread. I'll clean up the eye. And then I'm just going to take this whole top section off. So I just want it to look like legs. So I'll clean off that top. Give it a haircut. Now I just have the legs outstanding. And you can see how it looks on top. Had that little bit of flash that shines through. And then from there, I'll just take some head cement, and I'll coat not just the head, but I'll also do the, the thorax, the back there where I trimmed off the hackle. That helps lock all the fibers down. It makes everything nice and secure. Again, this is my all-time favorite trailing pattern, whether behind a dry or a nymph, and I call it the Hammer Creek disco duck.